Every time a photograph is taken to ensure an image is captured on the sensor, a combination of iris, shutter speed and ISO settings are taken into account. The iris or aperture in a digital SLR can be found in the lens. This is easy to find in an old SLR because there is an iris ring with numbers ranging from 1.8 to 22. These numbers are called f-stops and they represent the size of the aperture with f1.8 being the iris wide open and f22 being when the iris is shut down to a small hole. Changing the f-stop setting from f22 to f16 represents a doubling of the amount of light traveling through the lens. So opening the iris from f16 to f11 is a quadrupling amount of light from f22. Therefore, from f22 to f1.8, eight stops, that is 256 times the amount of light is being allowed to travel through the lens. So why would you need to change this setting? Well, the iris or aperture also controls the depth of field. So at f22, if an object is 11 feet away, just over three meters, then everything from six feet away to infinity will be in focus. This is called great depth of field and is useful for taking photographs of landscapes. On the other hand, at f1.8, if you focus on an object 10 feet away, only everything from nine feet to 11 feet will be in focus and everything in the background beyond this range and in the foreground will be out of focus. Now the next problem will be that if at f22 I had a good exposure then opened the iris to f1.8 allowing 256 times the amount of light into the camera then the sensor will be overexposed and all I will end up with is a white image with no details. To compensate this is the shutter speed. On a good bright day I may find that if I had a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second, I might have an f-stop of f22, for example. If double the amount of light enters the lens by opening the aperture to f16, then the adjustment to get the same exposure as before, I would need to halve the amount of time for the shutter by setting the shutter speed to 1 200th of a second. If I open the camera to f11, the shutter speed would need to be 1 400th of a second. Each time I open the aperture, doubling the amount of light coming through the lens, I would need to decrease the shutter speed by halving the amount. What shutter speed should I need to set the camera if I open the aperture to f1.8? Take a moment to figure this out. Well, at f2.8 on a Canon EOS 600D, I reach 1 4,000th of a second and the camera does not go up to 25,000 six hundredth of a second, which I would need to get a correct exposure. So at this point, I would have a problem. One solution would be to add a four times neutral density filter, which would allow me to reduce the light passing through the lens by the necessary amount. Alternatively, I could look at the sensitivity of the sensor and check the ISO. ISO stands for the International Standards Organization who set the film speed settings on old film cameras. Digital cameras use the same settings, but this time for changing the sensitivity of the sensor. An ISO 100 setting is used for bright sunlight and powerful studio lights, while settings of ISO 12800 is used for low light situations. However, by increasing the sensitivity of the sensor, the image becomes more grainy with electronic noise interfering with the image signal. The saying goes, more gain, more grain. So the more you increase the sensitivity of the sensor, the more grain appears in the image. So if we were to go back to our example of f2.8 at shutter speed of 1 4,000th of a second, we can check to see where the ISO has been set to. If the camera had been set to ISO 800, then by reducing the sensitivity of the sensor down to ISO 200, the f-stop could then be adjusted to 
f1.8 to get the correct exposure. However, if the ISO was set to ISO 100, then no further adjustments could be made, and a 4 times neutral density filter would need to be attached to the front of the lens. If you were needing to have an f-stop of f22, and the camera had a shutter speed of 100th of a second at f2, then you would end up with a shutter speed of 1 second at f22, with ISO set at ISO 200. You would need to attach the camera to a tripod to stop camera movements in your hands. If this is not possible, then you would need to change the shutter speed to around 1 60th of a second to stop camera shake. To do this, you would increase the ISO to get a correct exposure. What would happen to the quality of the image?